Hi, this is Emma from Mother Goose. Um, just wanted to make this little video to tell you about our needle felting garland kits. They'll come with a cookie cutter, in this case it's the Puffin. Uh, you're going to fill that cutter with the wool and then use your felting needles to jab the wool, keeping the needle straight up and down all the time to fuse that wool into a piece of fabric of its own. So here I've placed about two grams of the white wool into the cutter and I'm giving it maybe 10 to 15 jabs with the felting needle and then take the cutter away, peel the wool off of the sponge, turn the whole thing over so that I can do both sides so I get a nice even surface. I'm using both needles at the same time here just for speed. Now I'm taking some of the black wool and attaching it to create the black top coat of the puffin and just using my fingers to pull the wool down, securing it with jabs here and there, all the way down the length of the body. Now I'm going to create the black detail on the main body of the puffin here, leaving that white space for the um, classic puffin eye. Again, working on both sides you can absolutely just work on one side, it's entirely up to you how you're going to display this. Where I have some excess wool at the end there, you can just tear it away with my fingers and felt in the rest for a nice neat finish. I have a little ball patch there, so I'm just laying on another small piece of black wool and securing that in place with a few jabs. Now I'm going to move on to making the bill, taking a small piece of the orange wool and I'm using my felting needle to draw on the shape of a bill just by jabbing in a V shape, then rolling over the edges towards the middle to give me a nice firm triangular shape, but also leaving the end that will attach to the bird free and unfelted, so leaving that end fluffy. Then you can then offer this up to the bird, taking away any excess that you don't need. And then a few jabs with a felting needle, working on both sides, and then your bill will be secure. Now for some detail on the bird, I'm taking the turquoise and just r rolling it between my fingers to create a fine piece of wool, like a string of wool almost, and just a few jabs to hold that in place and doing exactly the same with the red. These are the more traditional features of a puffin but we're not going for your accuracy here. Now I'm taking some of the orange and just indicating where the bird's feet would be. As it's a cookie cutter it doesn't exactly have precise bird's feet, but just to give the idea. Now I'm taking a tiny piece of black wool, pulling it into two equal parts and rolling it between my thumb and fingers to create the eyes. Just a couple of jabs will secure them in place. And then neatening up the bird as we finish here. I'm just going to give a few jabs at the base of the head to give it a nice indent. And then my puffin is pretty much finished. Hope you enjoyed this. See you soon.